Vincent? Uh, yeah? Who is... You know Catherine, right? <sighs> huh? Um, yeah? But, wait. Are you the guy that was stalking Rin the other day? Stalking? Of course not! Oh, sorry. So, by Catherine, you mean... This is Steve? Catherine's boyfriend? Are you serious? You ass. Shit! Her boyfriend? Was she playing me? I thought it was weird for her to rush things. Oh, man, this shit keeps getting worse. Sorry. You're probably just using her, huh? No, it's not. Then you two are serious? Well, no. So then you are just using her. <sighs> Look, I'll break things off with her. Okay, I, I was planning to do it in the first place. In the first place? <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I, I never thought it would end up this way. <sighs> this is for your sake as well. You know the difference between right and wrong, right? I'll kill you. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, this fucking blows. does everyone want with me? <laughs> well, at least now I can resolve this situation with her. He said his name was Steve. In any case, Catherine's gotta agree to break up with me once I tell her about this. I'll see her one more time to have a talk. Sorry. Did I wake you?
<sighs> Is everything all right? Uh, yes. Are those your pajamas? They are. I didn't have any, so Erica gave me these. Really? That's nice of her. They look good on you. <laughs> hey. You sure you're okay? Um, well, what do you mean? You look like something's wrong. <sighs> yeah, I know. I guess lately a lot's been happening. Maybe I'm stressed. Vincent. You're okay? Erica told me this can really help make people feel better. Mm, she smells nice. I feel so... Vincent, I love you. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm? It's okay. Know that I'll always be there for you. Mm -hmm. Just hold on. Um, just remembered I had to be somewhere. Oh, yeah, I need to go chat with a friend of mine. I almost forgot. Boy, <laughs> that would have been a disaster. <laughs>
on, stop being so down. I mean, you don't even know if she's really cheating, right? Oh. So, what are you gonna do now? What else can I do? I have to know. Seriously. I'm just in shock now. In shock my ass. Even if it's true, you're not innocent either. You're just a selfish pig. <laughs> She's right, you know. I know... I know I'm doing the same thing. I knew she was lying to me. I couldn't take it. And yet here I am. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Vincent. Wow. What a loser. Dude, I can't watch this anymore. You're really bringing me down, man. So she dumped him? Yep. People say he's in bad shape. He's looking pretty messed up now. He might not pull out of this. He may even show up on the morning news. Don't joke about that, man. That's not cool. Anyway, did you hear what happened? Ah, oh, jeez. This place is getting pretty loud these days. Hey, it might not just be a rumor. It's like, you know, the dream where you're falling and you'll die if you hit the ground before you wake up. Lately, a lot of customers have been talking about having strange dreams. That's just stupid. How's anyone supposed to know what dream the dying person had? They're dead. It's just a dream. It's real. Right, Vincent? Maybe he's already dead. Vince! Vince, wake up or you'll die! Seriously, is he gonna be okay? I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a piss. me or did she get like way better at playing piano hey toby what's going on what's it look like we're getting this on camera didn't you see the news this morning rin's trending man big story about the beautiful pianist who lost her memory they say if you send someone a video of her they'll get their wish granted oh come on oh well i heard it lets you meet your true self seriously Oh, man. Well, what I heard was that it would fix your broken-ass relationship. Bullshit. Don't sweat the details. Just think of it as a good luck piano. That's it. I'm adding you, Vince. You could use a pick-me-up. You got a mail. Hey, leave me out of this. Come on, why not? It's supposed to get stronger the more you send out. Uh, that's called spam. Do you regret it, though? Yeah, check out how good she looks on camera. Uh, I guess. You're a real pro now, Rin. Music like that could raise the dead. So, what's your secret? <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Nah, don't sell yourself short. So, Rin, about this morning, Yo, I... do it again! <laughs> I want in on this. Okay, sure. Oh, uh, could you play that one song? Oh, my, my girlfriend loves it. What's it called? Rin's getting awfully popular. <gasps> it's been like this all day. People can't get enough of that piano. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me you're jealous. Like you're not so special. It's not like that. It's just more like watching a bird leave the nest, you know? Besides, I've already got a... <sighs> yeah, yeah, jeez. Men are so self-centered. Hey, you'd better not be sending mixed messages. I'm worried. Rin's a little naive, you know? People get their hearts broken over this kind of thing. And it's pretty clear that... Pretty clear that what? Never mind. Just ignore me. Anyway, Catherine isn't cheating on you. Why are you even doubting her? I don't even know. You're 
ignoring your own sins in the first place. But, but... Then why don't you break up? Huh. Well, if you're cheating and you think she's cheating, that's the logical choice. <sighs> Dude, don't just sit there getting angry. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. You don't look so good. Todd, my boss, he's dead. Oh. He wasted away. He was talking about those strange dreams. Am I gonna die? Like in the rumors? If I don't wake up from this nightmare, am I gonna die? I, I'm having those nightmares too. I, I can't remember, but I, I see them. I knew it. She's the witch. She cursed me when I said I couldn't marry her. That's what those dreams are about. D don't worry about it. D they're just rumors. Why? Why did he have to die? He was such a good guy. You got a mail. Would you like to speak to Martha? Do you see yourself as a dog? Do you see yourself as a cat? This one? Do you know about ants? Ants? Like the bug? I hear they're messengers of witches. They come out of the mouths of the men who wasted away to death. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Mr. Todd has died. What? It's three days until the time of freedom. Nicole? Oh, it's from her. Vincent? Oh, what's wrong? Nothing, really. What you said today about someone coming after me, it's scaring me now. Well, you should be okay. I was just... Guessing. Hey, Vincent, who's Catherine? Huh? What are you asking me for? That's your name, right? Weren't you acting kind of weird this afternoon? Maybe I was a bit strange. Who's Catherine? I don't know. I mean, you're Catherine, right? Uh, 
Mr. Morgan and Mr. Todd don't get along well, but it was Mr. Todd who stopped Mr. Morgan from committing suicide. He was arrested for assaulting Mr. Morgan. He was demoted as a result, but what the two of them don't know. The two of them don't know that Mr. Daniel had him cleared of the charges. No complaints about the piano, either. Yeah. Hey, Vincent, it's your life, but just make sure no one gets hurt, okay? <sighs> These mystery deaths have claimed one of our customers. He was kind of chatty, but he was a good man. Look, stop worrying. I'm sure they'll find the cause soon. Yeah, thanks. Look, even if Catherine is cheating, you've got no right to suspect her don't suspect her. Just so you know, you've got the all-time record for smallest heart. You're not looking hard enough, then. Mm. You're quite the star now. It's really flattering to know that people are coming to hear me perform. That customer who fell asleep here last night just came over to thank me. The guy who was bothering you yesterday? Yes, he apologized over and over. He said he thought about it when he got home. And he doesn't mind being nagged by his wife. He said he was sorry for bothering me. He told me to apologize to you, too. Huh. I wonder what brought about a change in him. Well, he said he started feeling that way when he thought about the song I played. You know, I'll say. Well, maybe there's some truth to the pianist of happiness rumor after all. Hmm. What's the matter? Now I can play the way I always wanted to play, but... I still can't remember anything. Don't let it get to you. Maybe someone you know will hear the rumors and come forward. I hope so. Can I stay here if I don't get my memory back? You're free to do whatever you want, Rin. I like all the customers, and I like being able to make everyone happy by playing the piano. And if it's okay, I want to stay here with you, Vincent. Yeah. We'd all love to have you around. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Looking so good. Oh, hey guy, you're not looking so good. Your back looks awful weary. What, you can see my back from there? I was making a crack about a monkey on your back. Forget it. You look stressed. See, my girlfriend might be cheating on me. Oh my. You're cheating yourself, and yet you're this concerned about your lover's fidelity. I, I want to believe, but it's just... I'm insecure. All the mistakes of the woman are the fault of the man. To cop a phrase from a certain someone. No, wait. That's not really much consolation, is it? <laughs> well, drink and forget. Not knowing something is as if it never occurred. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit and her popularity soared. It's the truth. 
Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can tell you anymore. Please forget it. Go easy on the booze, okay? What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. They're awful kind to Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So everyone wins. Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're gonna get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we'd break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <laughs> um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. You got a mail. Got a mail. Oh, this takes me back. seems to be talking about that piano player. I hope it doesn't get too out of hand. Excuse me. You got a mail. <laughs> Shit! Can't look at this in public? Need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. And when it comes to choosing a partner, the way men see things can't compare to the way women view it. I hear they even distinguish by smell, too. I wonder. I thought I was a sweet-scented middle-aged man, but Erica just said I have old man smell. Like I care. Yeah, anyways. As I was going to say, the hunter in relationships is actually the female. Female moose have males fight each other to win her courtship. When I saw that documentary last night, I was on the edge of tears for the poor husband. Maybe you can't be too careless for too long. I'm gonna head home. Excuse you me. You got a mail. Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know. Uh, 
Ah, it's late. Anyway, I have to set things straight tomorrow. Hey, Vincent, we're going home now. All right, I'll see you later. <sighs> All that alcohol is bad for your liver. <laughs> Hurry up. I've been looking forward to your trial. Did I, did I just hear something? You, Johnny, and Orlando have all made women cry. Well, maybe I have. And maybe Orlando, too. But not Johnny. Not true. He said he told his girlfriend that he has no intention of marrying her. How can a man tell a woman that? It's like saying, I don't love you. If that happened to me, I'd disappear all over again. Oh, I remember that. You just up and vanished. Stop saying I vanished. I was crashing at a friend's place. I remember that you guys were all worried sick. Of course we were. We honestly thought you were dead. To be young and thoughtless can be forgiven. But if you're an adult... Stop tormenting yourself all over again. Tower. Quit wasting your time and come on over. What the? to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. Oh, come on. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. Where have you been? Been searching all along. And now, continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Richard Davis, age 30, has been found dead today. 30? Wow. It's even younger than I am. Todd Bozeman, age 45. Todd? <gasps> Todd? The Todd that came here? I knew I hadn't seen him these days. That's all we currently have on this story. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. We'll now cover the story of the beautiful pianist with no memory. 
What's the name of that song you're always playing? I'm actually not sure, but it's like my fingers remember the motions. It must be really important to me. I just wonder if it might be a clue as to who you are. Vincent, there's something I need to talk to you about. What's wrong? Did the stalker come back? Oh no. Actually, the shower in my apartment's been acting up. The water keeps running cold. Oh yeah. The place is kind of falling apart. Sometimes I just bang on stuff and it works again, but... Really? Okay, I'll try that next time. I knew I could count on you, Vincent. Strapped for cash. Payday isn't for a while. I'm covering up my own infidelity. I don't have the right to suspect her. I wish that pianist of happiness could get rid of the pit in my stomach. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. A kir is an aperitif that is consumed before a meal. Kir is a popular French cocktail consisting of creme de cassis topped with white wine. A Kier Royale uses champagne in place of the white wine used in a traditional Kier. The Kier Imperial is a modern version of the Kier Royale and uses strawberry liqueur in place of champagne. Why not show off in front of your friends and order one before your food arrives? That was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Hey, can I get a drink? It's getting late. Are you all right? Uh, wine. I'll bring it right over. Please don't take off there. <sighs> Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her. What's going on here? Oof. Ren said she loved me. It's like a brotherly love, right? Oof. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about wine, now that you've emptied your glass. Did you know that swirling one's wine glass isn't just for show? It's a way to get air into the wine so it releases more aroma. It can change the taste considerably, so I suggest you give it a try. Just make sure you don't drink so much that your head starts swirling instead. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? What would you like? No thanks, I'll pass. Did you end up sending that video to anyone? I sent it out to my friends. Who knows, it might actually bring them happiness. Text, huh? Maybe I should stick around a little longer. this in public? Need to check this out somewhere where no one can see.
Women are hunting every day for better prey. If you take too long, you might be exchanged for the prey next to you, you know? So you guys really need to learn how a girl's heart works. A girl is always hoping someone will come and sweep them away. Oh, come on. Ahem, sounds like somebody wants to pay their tab right now. Oh, going home? Did you end up sending that video to anyone? I sent it out to my friends. Who knows, it might actually bring them happiness. Okay, I get it. Look, I'm just worried, okay? It's not just you. Everyone's been acting kind of weird lately. It's fine, Erica. We're not gonna fall apart at the first sign of trouble. I'll see you later. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. She's always meeting new people for work. From this point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them and will damage nearby blocks. Where am I this time? There's still more? Right, I got it. Ugh! 
Remember, you can always go back and undo some of your moves. see that piano player again. I have to keep climbing. I made it because of you. Thank you. Promise me that you'll make it to the next level too. You're pretty popular now, huh? I'm finally able to play the way I want to play. I think it's because you accepted me for who I am, Vincent. Really? I'm glad I'm regaining my memories, but I'm also scared. Scared of what? I didn't know existed. Don't worry, Ren. You are you, no matter what, right? <laughs> Your words always give me courage, Vincent. I wonder. The questions we're being asked in the confession were supposed to judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. Those questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. How have you been answering? lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic or praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? Ha! Ha ha ha! Made it. <laughs> what? Did you think I'd die here? No, no, that's not what I mean. What would you say to a friend if you found out that he was a billionaire? I tell him I wish I was born into a rich family too. And? Would you ask him for money? He's a friend, right? Even I wouldn't do that. That's what everyone says at first. Then they reveal their true colors. I'm an oil baron, you see. 
I was born into wealth. I have over a thousand servants and at least a hundred cooks, like Mr. Scarf. For real? Money corrupts the heart. It's sad, but it's true. There was a man who asked me for money once. He's dead now. He used the money to buy a fancy car and was killed by a mugger. Now go. I want to deter you from asking me for money if possible. I'm sorry to say this, but please, stop speaking with me. Now that I'm used to it, I don't really care that everyone looks like a sheep. It's what's inside that counts, yeah? We've lost a lot of sheep, but I'm not gonna give up. I've gotta keep going. For those who didn't make it. <sighs> Todd's dead? My boss? No way. Uh, that's sheep. Uh, no, it can't be. Mm -hmm. I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Let's work together and get out alive. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain timber. If you want to drop an entire wall, leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then push the supporting block and the wall will all fall down in one piece. Don't you think it's useful? Oh, I just had an idea. What do you think of this? Allow me to explain controlled explosion. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. Heavy blocks and immovable blocks can't be destroyed, so you can rely on them in areas that have bombs. That's just inspired. What a great idea. Oh man, I wish I'd thought of that. Not bad. Do you want to review the techniques? I gotta go. Good luck to you guys. <sighs> that guy with the pompadour seems to be missing. He didn't fall yesterday because of that thing, did he? I don't know. I thought we could all make it out of here if we put our heads together, but I guess it's not that easy. <sighs> I wonder. Tonight's product is... If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... Bells turn nearby blocks into normal blocks. Drinks enable you to jump two blocks into the air. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something, Fro-Man? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Please come again. Oh, it's you. Bells turn nearby blocks into normal blocks. Drinks enable you to jump two blocks into the air. Give me this one. <laughs> A smart choice. That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? I didn't mean to. I mean, she asked me first. I can't believe this is happening to me! I climb and climb. I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. That's the only chance I have left. True freedom. That's the only chance I have left. I have another reason to live now. I want to see that piano player again. I have to keep climbing. Who is that? Is he the one coming up with these stupid questions? Here I am. You in there, buddy? We can talk once you sit down. Sixth floor. You're really good. 
You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. It's hard to believe you're the same indecisive man who bumbles his way through the real world. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. Do you think your friends could betray you someday? Fascinating. The deeper their bonds grow, the more suspicious they become of each other. Shut up, I have enough to worry about back home. No, you must continue to worry, both here and in the real world. What's true, what's false, and what path shall you take? <laughs>